What's going on, YouTube? Alright. I'm just going to go around and give you guys an update on all of my tanks. This here is my 125. My two Tiger Oscars. My Band of Lepranus. I have a four line Pictus Cat in here. Um, a Pike Cichlid. And a Common Pleco. Um, not a whole lot's been going on with this tank. I did get a new canister filter for this tank. Um, it's a Sun Sun 304B. Um, the box is leaving. Uh, it works great, but it's ugly, so that's got to go. <laughs> um, I'm going to take one of these power heads out of here, so I'm just going to have one power head and the canister filter. Everybody in here is doing great, though. Um, Everybody um, just got a water change yesterday, so everybody's real happy. Um, I have had these fish for years. Um, if you're a new subscriber to my channel, I've had all these fish since they were the size of, I don't know, a 50 cent piece. Um, and they're all full grown. Uh, I did get that four line pick because he was that size. I bought him at the local fish store. I've had him probably... I don't know, maybe a year and a half. He's grown a little since I've got him, but not really. Um, the Pleco I also bought, he was that size. I'd say he's probably 16 inches, 15, 16 inches. He's a big Pleco. Uh, maybe he'll come out, you can see him. But yeah, other than that, everybody else I've had since they were, um, you know, 50 cent piece, maybe an inch. Um, in the beginning, I did have two of these uh, Bane of Lepranus, and I'm pretty sure my pike ate one of them, so that was a good meal. <laughs> but they're now, the Bane of Lepranus is bigger than the pike. So yeah, there's the Pleco. He's a good size, real big. But yeah, that's it with this tank, guys. That's all I've done. Um, it's just out of the canister filter. I'm waiting for that to cycle in. It's been on there probably three weeks. I'm going to give it a couple more weeks. I'm going to have that box is leaving. Uh, like I said, it did a great job. Um, this tank was running completely on all DIY filters. Uh, it was doing great. Um, I just, you know, I wanted the UV sterilizer, and I wanted, uh, you know, another canister filter. So I ordered that one up, and that's about it. Alright, and here is my 45 planted. Um, I have a, you know, a lot of variety of fish in this tank. Um, this is actually the first planted tank that I've ever, that I did. I just, you know, these are the first plants that I've owned. I, um, I started out with a 30 gallon, and I moved the 30 gallon up to this tank. Um, and I, you know, I've just added two and added two. Um, that Tiger Lotus was a bulb, uh, and it, the bulb, it actually took forever to grow, to start growing. I really didn't think it was going to grow, but now that it's started, I mean, that thing's grown like a weed. It's an amazing plant. Um, it's a red Tiger Lotus. Uh, I know a lot of you guys out there have them. If you don't have them, you know, you should try to get one. They're awesome if you're in the plant of tanks. Um... Everybody in here is growing, you know, my um, weather loaches, they've gotten, you know, pretty big. Um, my clown loaches, one of them has grown. I, I have three in here, and it seems like one has grown a lot larger than the other two. Um, I don't know what's up with that, but hey, you know, they all seem to be doing great. Um, you guys might notice that I have platy in here. I took all the platy out of Freddy's tank and put in this tank. So right there, you know, you're looking at um, as a male and a female. That's my oldest male and female. And then I have probably 15 to 20 fry in here. Um, I still have my sunfish. Or I'm sorry, my sunfish. My paradise fish. Um, I have four serpe tetras. I did lose one of them. 
Um, those are also known as minor tetras. That's what they call them at the local fish store. Um, I have four of them. They're long fin, uh, beautiful fish. They do nip. Um, I haven't noticed it a whole lot. I don't really have any long fin fish, um, but I have heard of other people saying that they'll, you know, nip fins. So if you know you want to watch out for them, if you want to get them, I wouldn't recommend putting them with like angelfish or gouramis or um, you know something like that. Something or even maybe like some of your smaller catfish, something they can nip the fins on. I'd keep definitely keep an eye on that. I'd say these guys here are probably the coolest fish in the tank. Um, they're all over the place. They're you know. They just act wild. They're whipping, and you see how they act. <laughs> and that's a good reason why I can't keep my substrate down. That's why I, this is a dirty tank, and it is extremely hard for me to keep the dirt hidden because I have, you know, all the loaches in here digging. I do have a spotted Raphael catfish in here uh, that I haven't seen. He's in there rooting around and, um, you know, just having a good time. So I got a little bit of dirt on top of my sand, which is fine. I like it. But yeah, that's this tank. Um, there is going to be a big change coming to this tank. It's actually moving uh, again. You know, like I said, I moved it from a 30 to this, and now I'm moving it again um, to a 75 gallon. So you know, give me a lot more room, uh, probably a lot more fish in the future to come to that 75 gallon. Um, so I'll make sure I film all that for you guys to see. All right, moving on to this tank. This here, um, if you guys didn't see my video the other night, um, this is my new tank for my Jaguar cichlid. Um, I did put a background on here. And I actually have a new fish in here. Um, and we're going to sit here for a second and see if it actually comes out. I haven't seen it a whole lot. Um, I will be removing that filter. Oh, there he is. That is my new pike cichlid. Um, anybody that has a semi-aggressive tank or likes semi-aggressive fish, I totally um, recommend this fish for you. They are awesome. Uh, he's hiding again. But, yeah, they're awesome fish. Uh, if you ever get a chance to keep one, definitely do it. They, there are um, dwarf species of them. So, you know, if you want to throw one in a, you know, a community tank, you can do that. Obviously, I have my big one you guys just seen. Um, he's with the Oscars and everything. He does great. And I have this one in here with a Jaguar Cichlid. They, um, you know, they've been fighting a little bit, but I imagine they'll settle down and get along. But yeah, that's this tank. Um, I've just had this tank set up probably a week. If you haven't seen the other video, you can um, go back and check it out. I just released it a couple days ago. Another good look at my Jaguar. And I'll try to get some video, a uh, better video of the pike to get up for you guys. So uh, definitely be looking out for that. Moving on to Freddie, um, she has quite a bit of new changes going on. Um, I do have more land for her now, uh, or you know, I had, in this case, the thunder blocks. I did. I put this um, lid on here. I built just so she can't climb out because she will try to climb out. Um, oh, and I forgot her new 125. She's liking it. So this is Freddie's new 125. Um, I got the ugly filter out of the one, my my other 125. That'll be in here for a little while. Um, I did. I changed her 
I had quarter inch outtakes for sump. I had two of them. I did move up to a three quarter one, just one single one. It's a lot easier to deal with. Um, I have a circulation pump in here. Her water might be moving around a little bit too much for my liking, so I might end up taking that out. But yeah, this is it. Freddy's new 125. She seems to really be liking it. Um, uh, I had this tank for probably a month. Um, I had it in my garage just pretty much waiting to set it up, waiting for the right time, I guess. Um, but yeah, I got this set up. She's been in here. This is her last night was her first night. I still have her old tank set up. Uh, I think there's like two fish in there. So I have it still set up over there running. Uh, I will be taking that completely down. And like I said, I'm putting my clean of tank in the 75. Um, so yeah, I just got to get everything together to make that move, the substrate and all that stuff. But yeah, this is the, this is the, you know, the big reveal. Freddy's uh, 125. She seems to really be liking it. I really like it. So that's going to do it, guys. Go down to the comments, let me know what you think of Freddy's new tank, and I will catch you guys later. I'm going to add a, um, a video I took the other day. I caught some snakes in my yard, and I released them um, down the street. I live surrounded by state parks, so I took them down the road and released them. Uh, in the video, I didn't say what the snakes were, and they were, I'm pretty sure there's three garter snakes, and you'll be able to tell those. They're, they have yellow stripes down their sides. And the one large one was actually a rat snake, and I didn't say that in the video, so I wanted to clarify that now. Um, the one was a rat snake, and you'll be able to tell the difference. So um, stick around, check that out, and I will see you guys later. And this here, there's a lot of them in here. I caught all these in my yard. That one's already taken off. There's a big one. It's huge. Got a couple big ones here. But yeah, I caught them in my yard. I brought them down here before I release them. Just wanted to show you guys real quick.